Raven Lamp is in studio. Raven, you look all smiley today. Oh, do I? Oh, you do. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I guess a few smiles for you guys this morning. From Main Street, Martinsburg, and uh, you've got something coming up here, the back-to-school bash. We do. So we have our back-to-school bash. It is coming up on um, August 19th. It will be held in conjunction with the Martinsburg Farmer's Market at the Roundhouse from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, this is our first time actually having this type of event, so we are super excited to do something that is, you know, just directly aimed at the kids. Mm -hmm. um, we want to give the children of Berkeley County, you know, all everything they need to go back to school this year and thrive. So with that being said, we'll have um, free haircuts for the kids. We're going to have school supplies. We're going to have so many activities. Um, Jefferson Rentals so kindly donated multiple different um, blow ups and activities for the kids to partake in. Um, we're going to have just a ton of giveaways, book giveaways. Um, so it's going to be the whole shebang. And then we're also obviously the farmers market will be there um the same day as well so it'll be a great day um but yeah so that is coming up um thankfully melissa wasn't able to join us today from city national bank but Thank, thankfully she wasn't no. oh no i didn't <laughs> okay, mean what do I, what do we, we need to hear the back story <laughs> right thankfully yeah, i didn't yeah. mean Thankfully, <laughs> Melissa Thanks. couldn't be here. I did not mean to say yeah, such a lovely I, I think I meant unfortunately. Um, I haven't had any coffee yet this morning, guys. Um, I told but, you, Matt. That's why I don't drink this stuff. Um, but so our partners at City National Bank, you know, we're really thankful for them. That's where the thankful was coming uh -huh. in. Mm -hmm. Good um, save. Right. Uh, so we they reached out to us. Uh, Becky Linton used to work there, and she is huge with Main Street Martinsburg. Everything that we do really um, geared towards the kids is normally one of Becky's ideas. Becky's um, retired now, right? She is. Yeah. You, you would think she would be, but I've heard her say multiple times that since she's been retired, this is the most she's worked. Um, so <laughs> I think she I could, saw her at the home show and right. she told me she was retired. Now. Yes, she's retired now, but you wouldn't believe it. And I find it hard to believe myself. Um, but she, you know, came to us and she was like, I really want to do some type of back to school thing or something geared to just children. And so she obviously uh, got City National Bank to come in as our presenting sponsors mm -hmm. and really help us out with this event. So because of our sponsors and because of our presenting sponsor, we are able to have this as a completely free event for the community. Um, so, yeah. Do you need any donations or anything? <laughs> we do. Right now, um, if you look at our Facebook, we do have all of the – D R B or D V R I always say it backwards. Um, model homes around Berkeley County will have a donation bin set up until the seventeenth. Um, we're also accepting donations at our um address too it's uh 142 North Queen Street. Mm -hmm. Um I know we also do have some partners at Macy's that have kindly they've sent me photos they have piles and piles of back to school donations for us nice. so we are still accepting donations and that's one thing as well a lot of people want to set up you know get the word out either about their boy scout troops or their business that they offer or their family uh counseling type of uh organizations we're inviting all of those people to participate with us and you know just kind of encouraging them like hey maybe you could have something to give to the children as well um in addition to all the knowledge and uh, services that they're bringing to the table. Mr. Miller, as far as donations, yes. what types of things are you looking for? So we have a whole list on our website, but we've also just kind of copy and pasted the Berkeley County um, back to school supply list. Okay. So the basics, you know, backpacks, binders, uh, notebooks, pencils, colored paper, or colored, yeah, colored pencils, paper, <laughs> yeah. crayons, you know, the whole shebang. It's been a while since I've had to buy any back to school supplies, so... <laughs> Yes, so we're super excited for that. Um, we do have a couple of other sponsors I would love to mention. Um, so obviously we have City National Bank as our presenting sponsors, but I don't know if you guys know this, but there is a au pair of America who are – uh, uh, sectioned here in Martinsburg. There's a what? Au pair of America company. No kidding. Yeah. So they are joining us. Um, in addition to Quad Graphics, Jefferson Rentals, again, coming in with some amazing activities for the children, uh, WVU Medicine, CMB Bank, and the Elks Club of Martinsburg. So, again, without all of these sponsors, we wouldn't be able to do uh, this completely free event for all the children and their families. Well, that's awesome. I heard a story the other day. The average back-to-school list around the country, the price of it now is up to almost $900. 
That's insane. Huh. I did see that. And, you know, one thing that has really made me – I don't have any children, so back to school doesn't really affect me quite yet. Um, but I have seen since we've started planning this back to school event is how many other people around the county do also back to school events and mm-hmm. donations. And, you know, that's really just kind of warms my heart to see – like you said, nine, that's a lot for school supplies. Um, but to see all these different, you know, organizations, businesses, small businesses, large businesses come in and do all these events for every or for the children of the county, just, you know, it's really something great to see. Yeah. You mentioned children. Is this event and, and the giveaways and so forth kind of designed for everyone from kindergarten through 12th grade? Right. Yes. So it will be, again, we'll have the full range. We went by that whole Berkeley County, whole county um supply list mm-hmm. and then so we'll have barbers and hair cutter or and hair stylists mm-hmm. there to do you know both boy and girl hair um so it is an event for everyone and there will be supplies for everyone and there will be a little bit of something for everyone in dish in addition to all the i or all of the events that we have for the kids we also will have the farmer's market and you know they can come there and get some you know food for back to school um so it will be an event for everyone but it's obviously mainly geared towards all the children will will there be food trucks with funnel cakes with funnel cakes i'm sure i can arrange one funnel cake one if, if you're coming well, I'm, if they're funnel cakes i'm coming I'm all right gonna... well then there'll be funnel cakes there. <laughs> Yes. How so? How how does it? How long does it take to plan something like this? This seems, I mean, like like a huge venture. It you know it, it it there is a lot there is a lot of working hands in it. We do have committees for each of our events, and you know each event is very different when it comes to the planning um, behind it. So we started planning this event. I would say mm, at the beginning of the summer, which is a little you know a little soon to the date of the event. But since we are in conjunction with the roundhouse, you know, we don't have to worry about shutting down the streets and getting approval for that. We just, we already have our location. We already know the time frame because we have the farmer's market going on. Um, so this one was really, you know, getting our committee and getting those sponsorships and getting those supplies and those donations and, you know, really getting all the tools we need to make this event thrive and make it fun for the kids and their families. So... How are you guys? Um, are you guys getting the getting the word out on Facebook and through the schools yes, and and everything? Yes. So we share everything on Facebook, our Instagram, as well as our website. Um, and then we've also been going around, you know, a little old school style, my brain, <laughs> handing out flyers, hanging them up on bulletin boards, um, just really getting the news out there. And then also we've had it on display at the farmers market as well. Um, so yeah, we've just really been trying to get the word out there and, you know, obviously coming on things like today gives us a little bit more of an audience to present that to. Very nice. How many, uh, any idea how many kids you expect? I mean, so I'm going to go by how I see the farmer's market every, you know, Saturday and it thrives there. I, if you go down there for an hour, you'll see 50 people come in and out. So I'm imagining that crowd already, plus everyone who's coming to take advantage of the events we have going on and, you know, really just enjoy that time. And then maybe, you know, see the farmer's market that they didn't even know was there before. So I'm thinking that there will be like, I would say at least 500 kids come through. It's so great that we have that roundhouse up and right. up and running. We love the roundhouse. We love our <laughs> partnership with them. It's so nice to have them, you know, um, for any of our events, say like our, if it rained out on one of our summer concert series, we can e- easily move down there and, you know, still have our show. And they, they go above and beyond to let us operate through. As long that. as it's not like between October and, and <laughs> f- end of February, right. March, it's a right. great place to mm-hmm. be. <laughs> they uh, they do not have a heat source yet. I, I think they're I, working on getting an HVAC in there. So. That's what I'd heard, but, but not but, in the round building, from what I understand. In the, I was I was in there for an event with for the Bulldog football team a year or so ago, and we could all see our breath. Oh, oh. you're freezing. Yep, you're either you're either a little hot in there, or it's a little. little but that's chilly. football weather, right? <laughs> that is football see weather. Right, a little right. bit. But like the the home show was amazing yeah. inside the. Uh, I mean, it's it's a, just a great venue. It's great that we have it. And it Matt, is. if I was wearing a helmet and shoulder pads, I'd be nice and warm, but I wasn't that time. So. <laughs> Raven Come Lamp on. is our guest here from Main Street, Martinsburg. Uh, Raven, so uh, let me ask you about the rest of the year. Like of as you get close to Christmas and whatever, you're Ooh. doing all that good stuff so still? So back to your planning question. Um, yeah, Robbie and I have been thinking about Christmas probably since... Um, 
I would say like April, mm -hmm. we're like, oh, it's Christmas time. And I'm like, oh my gosh, am I turning into one of those people who set up for Christmas? <laughs> like right when August starts. It is four months and 17 days. It's beginning I to know. feel like a lot like Christmas. You I know. know. Um, but we actually do have one more big event before Christmas. We have our four, our four state food truck festival, mm -hmm. um, which you guys are very familiar with. But so we've been, you know, narrow, really narrowing down our food trucks for that and our layout and you know we're 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 ready to go with it for the most part we're still seeking some sponsorships and a few more food trucks so if anybody uh would like to participate uh my email is all over our facebook um but so we do have that coming up on october 28th and then yeah and then christmas will be right around the corner well, good uh, for you folks, and uh, since uh, Robbie has uh, gotten settled into this job and you're working with him, there's been a lot of neat stuff happening in Martinsburg. Good Thank stuff. you. Thank you. Are you getting uh, your ideas from like a trade publication, or do you communicate with other cities, or do you guys just sit around and think of this stuff up on your own? Um, you know, well, there's two different sides of the answer for that. Robbie definitely... Um, conversates more with other local directors and really feeds off their energy and their ideas and they really work together and see, well, this worked for me or this didn't work for me, but it might work for you. You have mm -hmm. a different demographic than us or whatnot. For me, I'm like seeing things on Instagram and I'm like, oh, we need to have this. We need to have this. The kids will love this or this is such a cool you know, Christmas thing. Um, so it's really just a mix from all over. And then we also, you know, we have committees for these events and we listen to everybody's critiques and recommendations and, you know, really just kind of put that all into our minds and then pick from there as to what we do decide on doing for these events. And before we close out, if you could recap the Back to School Bash. Of course, so our Back to School Bash will be August 19th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Martinsburg Roundhouse. Good stuff. Raven, awesome. you have one thing, Matt? One, one oh. final question. You mentioned committees. Uh, yes. Are those committees made up of volunteers? So our committees are made up of board members, volunteers, um, you know, people who just have been with Main Street for a long time or or not if somebody wants to come and you know get involved um, normally it does stem from starting as a volunteer first mm -hmm. and then you know we kind of invite you or you'd be like oh I want to do more like do you have planning yeah. for this um, but yeah so anyone can really join any of our committees nice yes. Raven, good to see you say nice hello to, to Robert for us I will thank you guys for having me <laughs>